What's up YouTube, I'm Chris Young and I'm back today to give you guys a review on the Air Max 97 and the Puerto Rico colorway. If this is your first time watching my channel, thank you guys for tuning in today. Please be sure to hit the like button on this video, comment your opinion on the Air Max 97 Puerto Rico's down below in the comment section, and lastly, please be sure to subscribe. And without further ado, let's go ahead and see what these Air Max 97 Puerto Rico's are all about. All right, guys, so the first thing that I would like to detail is, of course, the box. You can see the Air Max 97 Puerto Ricos do come in your standard Nike Air Max box, which are red all over, your Nike wording on the top, which is done in white. And then taking a look at the front of the box, the sizing tag does read Air Max 97 OG Special Project slash PRD. And the official colorway of this sneaker is metallic silver and varsity red. This is my personal size 12, and these did release on June 5th for a retail price of $175. So. So thank you to my friend Jave Kicks who uh, basically dished these to me for retail. He knew I was very high on this shoe the minute it popped up on the sneakers app. And the reason why I was so high on this particular colorway is because it reminded me so much of the Air Max 97 Silver Bullets. And you know, the Silver Bullets are a little higher on the resale market now since they haven't seen a release since 2017. So I felt like these would be a great substitute for not having the Silver Bullets. And really the only difference between these and the Silver Bullet is wherever you would see black on the Air Max 97 Silver Bullets, it is replaced with this nice navy color on this shoe and uh, I'm just very excited to have these. So let's go ahead and get into an in-depth review of the Air Max 97 Puerto Ricos. All right guys, so getting things started on the Air Max 97 Puerto Rico. Starting out on the overlay of this sneaker, you can see this comprised of a synthetic leather and mesh. But when you take a look at the upper of this sneaker, you do have your infamous piping lines which wrap all the way around it. And these lines are inspired by the Japanese high-speed bullet trains back in 1997. Taking a look at the tongue of this sneaker, it is done in a gray mesh material. You have your standard Air Max 97 rope laces which are also done in gray. And then once you make it to the top of the tongue, you have this navy nubuck oval patch right here. You have your Varsity Red Nike swoosh which is stitched into the patch and then at the very top of the tongue you do have your Puerto Rico flag which serves as the pull tab. So on the lateral and medial side of the overlay of this sneaker you can see you do have these mesh cutout panels which reveal your Nike Varsity Red swoosh which is outlined in navy and then moving on to the inside of this sneaker your inner lining is done in navy as well as your insole. So the insole of this sneaker has a white Nike swoosh and then underneath the swoosh you do have Aki Mi Cueto which translates to I'll stay here in English and then taking a look at the back of this sneaker you do have a nylon navy pull tab which has the Air Max wording done in this silver glittery fashion and then what the Air Max 90 7 upper sits atop of is your standard white Air Max 97 midsole. On the back of the midsole you do have a carved out Nike swoosh which is done in white and then underneath the midsole portion you do have your full length airbag unit which is done in this metallic silver and then rounding out the Air Max 97 Puerto Rico's you do have your navy and white outsole but on the left shoe you do have your Puerto Rico flag right there in this oval and then on the right shoe you do have a varsity red Nike swoosh in that oval so there's just a lot of cool things about this Air Max 97 and I feel like if you don't have the Air Max 97 silver bullets, these would be a perfect alternative. I just love how sleek the Air Max 97 is and I can definitely see myself wearing these for many months to come. All right guys, so the last thing that I want to go over regarding the Air Max 97 Puerto Ricos are the extra accessories that come along with this sneaker. So if you guys don't like the laces that were inserted into this sneaker, Nike did supply you with an extra spare pair of navy laces which have red and white accents on them. And then the thing that really sold me on this sneaker comes in the box so when you guys get the Air Max 97 Puerto Rico's on the resale market you guys will be impressed by this towel that comes along with it and on the one side of the towel it is done in white and then on the other side it is done in navy and then the text on the white side does read Puerto Rico to Cara, which translates to Puerto Rico I love you in English and I always harp on it guys presentation is everything when you are getting these shoes especially for resale because you want to feel like you are getting what you pay for and when I see extra laces uh, extra towel, uh, special box. It just makes me as the consumer feel like I am getting what I pay for. So shout out to Nike for putting a lot of craftsmanship and effort into this particular colorway. And the last thing that I want to go over is the sizing. So if you guys were in the market for Air Max 97, I would definitely recommend going up a half size because these tend to fit a little snug. My true size in most sneakers is a size 11 and a half, but with this shoe, I do go up to a size 12 and it fits me perfectly. The Air Max 97 isn't gonna have the same comfort as what you would get from an Ultra Boost or a Yeezy, but for everyday wear for a couple hours, these shoes will be perfectly fine for you. 
All right guys, so this pretty much concludes my review on the Air Max 97 Puerto Ricos. Let me know what you guys think about this particular colorway down below in the comment section. Leave a thumbs up on this video if you like what you saw today. And lastly, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for allowing me to surpass the 1500 subscriber mark with this last video. Uh, the next goal obviously is 2000. So thank you guys for your continued support on the channel. And as always, I will continue to push out this content for you guys. And without further ado, it's time for me to lace up the Air Max 97 Puerto Ricos and show you guys what these look like on feet. Take care, stay blessed, and I will see you guys on the next one.